Ladies and gentlemen, our grand entrance. <laughs> Super reggae music, man. Cool. Fucking cool, this thing. Very excited. And we're back. It's Art of Life, and we're talking drones today because a new drone was introduced into the world. It's called the Lily drone. Okay, now it sounds a bit naff, but it's actually not. It's a personal drone, so it follows you around wherever you go. It knows where to go via a wristband that you wear. It's, it's in ca encased in sort of a waterproof carrier, mm. so you, you're talking like mad, mad capabilities you can do with this thing. And literally, you can set it via this um, pod on your arm to follow you, or to go in front of you, or to hover above you, to do all sorts of really But is really it stable? Because I mean, one of the things I always struggled with the drones is just keeping the thing like steady. You don't, you don't actually fly. That's the phenomenal thing. I'll quickly introduce um, a third, not the fourth, because he's more of the camera guy, member of the team. No, 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 because it's not a professional camera. Yeah, I was yeah, just yeah. going to say that from a professional point of view, you, even you've got to admit, I've seen it a lot. Coming mm. into YouTube videos, coming into a lot of these, you're starting to see phenomenal shots mm. by mm. amateurs yeah, because they've yeah. gotten this yeah. drone ability now and, and they're becoming easier to control. Mad easy to control. Like the AR drone was impossible to control, yeah, I'll admit that. Yeah. Was AR drone was cool, AR drone 2 was like, wow, then 3 I think came and it was like phenomenal. But this, for me is next level because it's like personalized you don't have to worry about flying it you don't have to worry about crashing you don't have to worry about water well because it makes it it makes it much easier for the amateur to use yeah. what will be interesting is how you know how people then start to use that and the use the uses they'll find you know i have young kids so you're constantly yeah. taking pictures doing video etc etc you can get some really fun stuff kind from of, the family like that. Kind of don't even have to do their duties anymore. You just give the drone and she's like, I'll take some pictures yeah, of my 20 kids. Minutes, <laughs> but 20 minutes. 20 minutes is still pretty decent. Uh, Han asked earlier, how much? The professional one started about a thousand. Dollars? Yes, but that's without the camera. Those are those monstrous yes. bigs. Oh, is that without the camera? Without the camera. Jeez, that's a rip, eh? Five, six hundred dollars. If you go and pre-order now, five hundred dollars. If you don't pre-order, nine hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. So it's still about eleven grand if you don't pre-order. I mean, it's it's for a, for a really enthusiastic mountain biker or a really enthusiastic uh, canoeist or snowboarder. Okay, we don't snowboard, but a surfer. Snowboarder. Yeah, I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> represent, <you>, represent. <laughs> this is the cool thing is that what really excites me about this is so many of these things I see every day on the web and I'm like. Oh, luckily, let me go see what's going on at Indiegogo, Kickstarter. Oh, they're looking for backing, put it on the blog and like help get people to back them. Because it's a concept and it works and it looks like a, this is coming. Like they've really built it and this works and all that. But the other thing and the something that you brought up about your kids is the law. Yeah, but look, the law, the law is interesting because 
I think it was started by Amazon wanting to deliver yeah. goods via via drones. So now with you know in South Africa, I think it's it's still illegal um, to fly drones. I know the Cape Town police have just did a kind of pilot with it um, in you know going and apprehending people and being able to use the drones to monitor where they throw stuff away. Um, but it's, I think it's, it's an interesting space that's going to, that's going to explode. But, and and but it's like, going to explode at two different levels. Yeah. So there's the kind of more industrial, functional stuff. Yeah. Uh, but with things like this, uh, what, drugs, what's going to yeah. be, become very interesting is that balance between the two. Yeah. Um, in terms of the laws, like now they're saying you have to go to get a license from the Civil Aviation Authority. I discovered you can get a license here. So you can go to flight school and get a UAV Okay. A UAV license, so you know, I do think that it'll come. So if the, if you're that way inclined, this is the time to go and kind of get your license and figure out how, how that stuff works. I mean, the issues of privacy. I mean, yeah. I stay, in, you know, I stay in a complex, so I pop that thing up. I can see immediately into my neighbors' bedrooms, into my neighbors' yards, etc., etc. There's a um, there's a cool and, 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 and they're fine with people like me, yeah. but. With neighbors like you, Bro, then I'm it becomes a problem. Like, yo, I, I, I mean, I mean, I wouldn't, but I probably would. <laughs> but um, yo, like, there was that South Park episode, which was quite funny at the time. It was probably a year ago it came out, but it it was prolific because we were there. Yeah. It,